Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and we're in the Swedish capital Stockholm for five things you're gonna love and hate about visiting Sweden. And let's get started. The first thing you might not like about coming to Sweden is something that you don't know about the culture and that's the line culture here. When you go to the stores or you go out and you do things, there might be a line and the Swedes very much like their lines. Also, they like to get their tickets for their lines. But the problem is, as you're a tourist, you might not know when you need to get a ticket and not know when to get a ticket. So make sure you look around. If you see people with ticket, go grab one because no one's gonna help you unless you have that ticket and your number gets called. Also, if you're in line, make sure you stay up to the next person because if you leave some space, the Swedes will probably come in there right in front of you, okay? So no dawdling, just get right in there. So that's the first little thing that might annoy you when you're here. It's not really a hate, it's just a little annoyance. You need to know how the lines work here. Now, the second thing you might not like about coming to Sweden is the cold and darkness. Now, today is a beautiful day here, though I do have a t-shirt on, a quarter zip on, and a jacket on, and I'm not too hot, okay? What you need to know is Sweden is not exactly the warm warmest country in the world. It's very cool as in cool dude, not and also cool as in a little chilly, okay? Now, the thing is, when you do come here, you do need to wear layers. Obviously, in the winter, it's snow and cold, and the thing is, it gets very dark, and it stays dark in the winter here, so be ready for that. But make sure you're layering clothes. And if you come in the summer, it's really cool because you have sun all day and all night, but the problem is, when you wake up at three or four in the morning because the sun's coming in your window, yeah, it's because the sun's up, not that you need to get up and start doing things. So that can be kind of a problem. Though in the winter time, if you come, you got a better chance of seeing the northern lights, which are really awesome. The third thing you might not like about coming to Sweden is your Swedish dining experience. Now, Swedish cuisine isn't really known for its uh, flavor and taste and abundance. You know, how many Swedish restaurants are in your hometown? Not too many. Lots of Italian. Not so many Swedish. The thing is, there are some good things here. Yes, you should have the meatballs, and yes, you should have the cinnamon rolls and stuff like that. But in general, food is a bit blah here. Lots of fish, which is fine. You could have all the sill or herring you've ever dreamed of and all kinds of pickling flavors. But it's a little bit blasé. But you'll be okay, because there actually are really good restaurants here, because new Scandinavian cuisine is here in full force. And it's pretty cool, and that's pretty tasty. But the traditional food is a bit blah. But actually what will bother you more about your Swedish dining experience is the fact that restaurants do close early. So if you get in, your plane gets in at 9 or 10, it's very hard to find restaurants that serve food after 10 o'clock at night. So you might be stuck eating kebabs, which are fine, or going to Max, which is like the local fast food joint here. Um, but just know, if you like to eat late, my friends from Portugal and Spain, you need to eat earlier because they eat early here. They go out early here too, okay? So make sure you're, you're, you're getting your food in early because some restaurants, I mean, they're totally closed. Bars are closed at 10, things like that, all right? Also with that dining experience and the times is you'll see that sometimes the stores aren't open very late, but what's cool is here, they are, some stores are open on Sunday, so there's a little good thing with there, okay? Now, the fourth thing you're not going to like about coming to Sweden, and probably the only thing that's really going to bother you, because it is a really beautiful country with nice people, but I'll talk about that in the loves, is the fact that Sweden is expensive, okay? $7 for a beer, totally normal. I find it, in terms of typical USA, it's about 20% more than in the US, 30% more for going out. So when you go get you know, a, a meal, it's going to cost you $20, $25 just for the plate. And I will warn you, when you buy the alcohol, that's when it really adds on to the price, okay? So my advice in order to save some of the money, one thing is go out for lunch. That should be your big meal because that's when they have their lunch specials and stuff like that. So you can save money there. Go to the stores and pick up your alcohol to pre-party with that or your dinner food for there. So you have something that way to cut down some of the other expenses. Also, a lot of the transport here is extremely expensive. Going to Gothenburg back and forth and doing that from Stockholm. Okay, so just know the trains, buses and stuff around the country are quite pricey. And the fifth thing you might not like about coming to Sweden is the lack of public toilets. Now, some cities are really cool. Gothenburg, lots of public toilets around for to use, and they're free. On the other hand, here in Stockholm and other cities, it's hard to find a public toilet, and if you do, you've got to pay 10 crowns or 10 krona. But the thing is, no one has a 10 krona coin because you pay with your credit cards here all the time, so you don't walk around with change. So you gotta pee, and when you finally find that toilet, it, you need to have money and you don't have any, and you can't swipe a card to go pee, so it can be quite frustrating. So, 
what I recommend is when you go into those restaurants, when you're eating, when you finish up, go finish up downstairs in the bathroom. So when you're walking around and you gotta go, you're not stuck out in the cold, literally, okay? Anyway, so those are the five things you might not like about coming to Sweden. Nothing really that bad. It actually is a really cool place to come. We've really enjoyed it. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna go to Gothenburg, uh, the second city of Sweden to finish this off. So those are the things you're not gonna like about visiting Sweden, but what are you gonna love? So now we're at the fish church or the fish market basically here in Gothenburg and the first thing you're going to love about coming here, one of the best parts of coming to Sweden is it's safe and it's organized. Wherever you go in Sweden you will be safe. Well you might need some sunblock for the sun which you might not think of but in general Sweden is extremely safe. You'll be okay anywhere you go. Of course you should pay attention in areas you know if you're in Stockholm late at night or Malmö definitely. But in general, Sweden is super, super safe, okay? And what's cool is it's very well organized. So you've got transportation everywhere, the tourist office are very helpful, everything's set up to help you out, so it's really kind of cool. So that's the first thing you're gonna love about coming here. It's safe and it's organized. The second thing you're gonna love about coming to Sweden is the nature here. When you take the train or the bus around the country, you see the forest, you see the trees, you see the lakes, you see the coastline, the archipelago islands, whether you're here in Gothenburg or Stockholm or other places. Going up to Lapland and see the Sami, going skiing, hiking, biking, I mean swimming, sauna jumping in the lake and the water, naked swimming, all kinds of stuff. You're gonna love that about Sweden is the nature is fantastic here. So get out of the cities. Yes, Stockholm's cool. Gothenburg is great, but get out of the cities and get into nature and you will really enjoy Sweden. The third thing you're gonna love about Sweden is most likely you're gonna come here in the summer and you have daylight all day long and most of the night. And that's really cool because then you can enjoy things in the morning, in the evening, midday, and it's fantastic. And what's cool about the summer is Sweden has tons of festivals, music, art, you know, medieval, Viking, whatever you want. They have festivals for all kinds of things here. And the Swedes really get into their festivals, especially midsummer. If you come at midsummers, oh my goodness, don't be surprised seeing a maple up there, Swedish people wearing, you know, uh, wreaths are on their head or, or crowns, uh, crowns of flowers on their head, dancing around the maple, la, 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 having a great time and everybody knows the songs and they really get their national pride going and it is so much fun. That's why it's the third thing you're going to love. Come in the summer for midsummers and the festivals and the singing and the beautiful weather. The fourth thing you're going to like about coming here are the Swedes. Now at first they're going to seem reserved but once you crack their hard shell the people are fantastic and they will take you to these festivals, they will take you to the soda, they will take you out and show you a great time but just know it takes time to get to know them but the Swedes are fantastic people and you will really enjoy them once you get to know them. Before you get to know them eh, it's a little tough. The service doesn't seem great, they seem kind of cold but once you get to know them, they are fantastic. So take the time to get to meet a few Swedes when you're here and they will be so helpful and so friendly and make Sweden so great. And the fifth thing you're gonna love about Sweden is it's cheap compared to Norway. <laughs> yeah, it is very true. Compared to Norway, Sweden is cheap. But honestly, the fifth thing you're gonna like about coming here is people speak English and they speak English very well. So no matter where you go, if you have questions or you get lost, or you don't know what's on the menu, or you can't read the Swedish, people will be able to help you, okay? Because English here is second to none. They are fantastic at English, and for a tourist, that's super helpful. So those are the five things that I love and hate about Sweden. What do you love and hate? Put in the comments section below to, uh, cause we can share some more loves and hates. Anyway, if you wanna see other things, five love and hates of Stockholm, 10 things that'll shock you about coming to Sweden, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash waltersworld, or find us on our website, waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those fun things, and we really appreciate all of your likes and subscriptions, so please, go on down there and click that like button. It's okay. And that subscribe, too. It's great. It goes from red, subscribe, to gray, subscribe, duh. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. Hey, though, from Sweden in Gothenburg. Bye. Hello.